Hey, this is Rich Osweiler coming to you from the 2013 NAMM show for PremierGuitar.com. I'm here with mastermind guitar extraordinaire Terry Atkins from US Music. We're going to talk about uh, a new Washburn model. It's yeah. got a pretty exciting history behind it. So, uh, Terry, how's it going? Good, thank you. I appreciate you asking. Right on. Well, uh, why don't you take us through? Tell us about this baby. Well, this is uh, this particular one here is the Lakeside Jumbo. It was first built by Washburn in 1912. It preceded Martin's Dreadnought by about four years. It was the first really large bodied steel string guitar. Uh, the dimensions are 16 and three quarters across, five and a quarter deep. It's a very large box. Uh, it's got a 25.4 scale. Okay. Uh, rosewood fingerboard and bridge, unbleached bone, nut, and saddle. Uh, it's dimensionally correct. We actually took three sequential old Washburns uh, and measured them out, spec'd them out, reproduced those guitars. Okay. Uh, it comes with an Adirondack spruce top. They're, um, the bracing is Adirondack red spruce. They're hand split out of billet, hand shaped. We're building them the way they built them back in 1912, over 100 years ago. One guy builds every part of the box. Okay. He, he shapes the braces by hand, glues up the bridges, glues the sides and the backs together, completes the box, binds it, sands it. One guy makes the neck all the way through. They're joined, painted by one guy. So it's pretty much as closely as we can reproduce the way they were made then. Spec-wise, material-wise, construction-wise, we're doing it now. Given the given how you guys are putting these together, how many do you think you're going to be producing in a given year? Probably, well, definitely less than 50. Okay, all right. What, what do we got right next to it? This is the WSD 5249. This is a reproduction of a model that was out in 1937. Okay. First introduced. Uh, with some variations, it's got the uh, multi-laminate side fingerboards, single laminates on the front. Uh, it's Again, it's got the nitro tortoise pit guard, the nitro ivroid binding. Uh, this one has an ebony bridge and fingerboard. Uh, and again, we're using the old Washburn Smile bridge from back then. Okay. It's the same Art Deco headstock. Uh, we're using the open back butter bean tuners. Right on. Again, unbleached bone. So that's what they used back then. Okay. And again, the same sort of uh, construction technique. It's one guy building the box all the way through. It's a single piece of, of mahogany. Okay. And I, it's hard to describe this, but it's a very soft V neck. Okay. Uh, you know, back then they made V necks and they were a little bit stiffer right. and they were definitely thicker. Right. So that's really about the only thing that we've contemporized. Okay. It, it's more of a modern feeling neck. The V is a much softer V, okay. and it's uh, much more correct for the dimensions of the day. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Showing us what's new from Washburn. This is Rich Osweiler coming to you from PremierGuitar.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single thing of what we're covering this week. Cheers.